Uh, see, we read 2 Samuel 23, verses 15 through 17, and, and it's such a picture of sacrifice. David, apparently in battle, was, was getting thirsty. He must have said in front of some of his mighty men, boy, I'd do anything to have a drink from the well, but it was over on the side of the lines that the enemy had already captured, the Phil Philistines had captured. And the well was over there. And he was probably just thinking out loud like we all do. Three of his closest mighty men heard him musing out loud without telling them him. They snuck up in the night. They took their own lives in their hand, risking going into enemy territory to get water for their commander and then snuck back over to present him with a cup of water. And, and so, gosh, what a picture of sacrifice. And then David was so overwhelmed by their willingness to sacrifice and even perhaps risk their life. And by the way, let me tell you that that's what faith often is spelled like in the Word of God. Risk. R-I-S-K. Risk. And, and so it is that they brought it back to him. And he was so overwhelmed with their sacrifice that the Word of God says he did not even feel worthy to drink the water but he poured it out as a sacrifice and offering to the Lord. I, I love another key scripture that David used along the idea of sacrifice, but it's 1 Chronicles 21, verses 23 through 25. I love this verse. I will not offer to the Lord that which costs me nothing. Oh, that's good. If that doesn't do something for you, read it again. I will not offer to the Lord that which costs me nothing. And, and so, you know, this whole deal about if you want your Friday night lights to leave you something that will make your life worth living when you stand before the Lord one day, I got to tell you the great news, but the challenging news is there will be some sacrifice along the lines.